Plentiful is a god game. Your job is to help people live and thrive by moving the earth and vegetables. So, play the Sims. Oh my god, how'd, how'd you do that? Uh, no, let's clarify. God games focus on the player affecting the world, rather than the direct control over the people. There are opportunities for that, but it comes at a heavy cost. In a game like RimWorld, you can draft your pawns and move them around with perfect control. God game design is mostly focused on achieving open objectives and solving puzzles rather than something like The Sims. You know, where your painting goblin tells you that they want to become a YouTube star. I don't have any Sims footage. But you get the idea, so how was the demo? Well, it's a very early gameplay demo. Tons of stuff that's in the marketing isn't present in the demo. You'll need a very open mind, and I wouldn't recommend this demo to 90% of the gaming audience. However, playing it made me realize that, yeah, I could enjoy a game like this. I say 90% only because stuff like inverted controls and slow motion of the camera will probably put people off rather than pull them in, but the design, where you build up a wetland, plant a bunch of food, create shelters for your people, and try to fulfill the objectives, that stuff is all real solid. It's a gaming appreciators only kind of demo. Highly recommend to a select few. The three levels broadly showcase the kind of puzzles the final game will have. The growth objectives where you try to accumulate a lot of humans, make a guy go here objectives where you migrate across the map to pick up objectives. In a full release, I'm sure the growth objectives would be my favorite since they're so laid back, but I'd like to see what puzzles can be made in this framework. Let's end on the developer's Twitter because it's important. Obe Verme is one of the original programmers on Grand Theft Auto 3, and their Twitter is a treasure trove of minor facts and programming logic behind that game and how it works. If you've ever wondered why the moon changes sizes when you shoot it with a sniper rifle, it's on his Twitter. Go check it out.